I'm gonna go ahead and go out on a limb and say Crisis on Earth X is probably the best TV superhero crossover event to have ever been done. I'm gonna talk about the second half to this storyline, so be prepared. I'm gonna go into some major spoilers. You've been warned. I'm in love with a hero. superhero fans of the world oh my god this was such an incredible story i already talked about the first half of crisis on earth x which if you're interested in seeing that i'm putting a link over here the first half was great but this one totally blew the first half out of the water i may be a bit biased which i'll go into some details about that when i talk about the summary but still i wish this was the movie universe it is that well done immediately we rejoin our heroes who are in a concentration camp on earth x we finally get to see russell tolby's character of raymond terrell who's also known as the ray and he's wearing a concentration camp uniform with the pink triangle. That's a very emotional moment for many people out there. They're all almost executed. However, they're saved at the last minute by Citizen Cole. Leo Snart, because he doesn't like to be called Leonard, is here and he's saving the day. Oh my god, I love seeing Russell Tovey show his abilities. They escape and go back to the Resistance bunker where we see a very hardened General Win. Not gonna lie, I think I like him even more in this role. They want to destroy the base that has a platform to travel in between worlds. But of course, the heroes need this in order to get back to save Supergirl. While this is going on, we find out that the Ray and Citizen Cold are in a relationship. I can't express how happy that made me feel. It's even better as they're just so cutesy with each other too. It's something that I've been dying to see on TV in a superhero capacity between two guys. But I'll talk about that later. They're able to convince Wynn to hold off on the attack so that they can sneak in themselves and try to use this device so they can get back to their own world. Which mostly works but unfortunately there is a casualty. One half of Firestorm Professor Stein does fall in battle. It was really sad and this is something else that started make me tear up. Meanwhile on Earth 1, Felicity and Iris are able to call out for the rest of the Legends of Tomorrow to show up. Which they do, but they're a bit late. Luckily though, the heroes on Earth X are able to make it over. The heroes returning and the Legends of Tomorrow combining together are able to take out the Nazis that are currently in Star Labs. We get a nice Heroes United image, which I know it's probably just fan service, but you know what? I ate it up. We have a big epic battle between the Nazis that are still on Earth 1 and the superheroes. Unfortunately, we find out that Nazi Supergirl, if she doesn't have her heart transplanted out, she's gonna explode in a huge epic nuclear way. So they're on a bit of a time schedule here. But it's okay, the superheroes nicely clean house, and they kick all of those Nazi asses. In the epilogue, Citizen Cold decides he wants to stay on Earth-1. I actually wanted the Ray to stay there, but you know what? I'll take Wentworth Miller. I like him too. Everyone says their goodbyes, and it's a great happy ending. I love when Sarah is leaving Alex and Heatwave comes up and says, did you hit that? Seeing Heatwave and Cold together, even though this is a different Cold, I like the dynamics between these two actors. And they don't have the same bonding experience as the previous cold, but still, I'll take this. There's a little epilogue where we do have a wedding taking place. Actually, we have two weddings and a funeral. Dax gives the eulogy for the professor's funeral, which was also really sad. Iris and Barry are finally married in a very small ceremony by Diggle. Unfortunately, Felicity and Oliver throw their hats in the ring too, and they also get married. Honestly, I was just like, what? Why did they do that? But let's just go and put that to the side. Overall, this was an incredible four-way crossover. First thing I'm gonna have to say, okay, I love Russell Toby. I've always been a huge fan of his and I've had a huge crush on him for years. He is an openly gay actor and him playing a gay role is something he hasn't really done too much until recently. Most of his early career he always played a heterosexual man, which he did that well too. But seeing him play in movies and TV shows where he is a gay character, I think that adds a lot more to him. I've wanted to see a gay male superhero on screen playing a main character rather than just one of the side secondary characters for many, many years. The Arrow universe has done a great job of being inclusive for the LGBT community. Mr. Terrific is a great example. He started out having a husband. Unfortunately, they're going through some marital issues though. And unfortunately, he's had very limited romance with his husband, ex-husband, and anyone else. Sarah Lance being a bisexual character and Alex Danvers being a gay character, both of them have had huge pushes too. But I feel a bit more of a closeness of having a male gay actor playing a gay superhero in a relationship with another gay superhero who is also being played by another gay male actor. I adore Wentworth Miller and I loved his take on Captain Cold when he was a sarcastic anti-hero. Now he's Citizen Cold and he's a good guy. He's still a bit sarcastic, but it seems like he has a much more emotional feel to him and he has a much more positive outlook. Seeing them together, I was just so ecstatic. I was so happy. I started to have tears in my eyes. And seeing Russell Tovey as the Ray in live action form, using his abilities, again, I kind of geek gasmed right there. The death of Professor Stein was another moment where I started to tear up. His relation with Jax forming Firestorm, having the whole father-son 
one thing. I mean, I love that dynamic. Jack's giving the eulogy at his funeral. I mean, that also brought a tear to my eye. I knew the actor, Victor Garber, wanted to leave the show, but I thought he was going to leave in a capacity where he could return back later. I think he wants to do Broadway and some other stuff like that. Action sequences were off the chart. The big battle at the end, seeing all the Nazis getting their asses kicked, yeah. I didn't understand why Flash let Reverse Flash go at the end. I understand he doesn't want to kill him, but still he should have incapacitated him and at least put him in some sort of prison for the time being. The quick wedding at the end I thought was cute, but I didn't really want to have Felicity and Oliver throw their hats in the ring too. Whatever, I'll just kind of look past that. It was a powerful moment to see Russell Tovey, a gay man himself, playing a gay character in the whole fatigues of a concentration camp with the pink triangle. The only negative aspect again is the CGI, but unfortunately, like I said before in the previous video, this is TV budget. Budget. They don't have that much, at least nowhere near what the movies do. For what was given to them, they did a great job. I can only imagine, had they had a bigger budget, what they would have done. This whole saga is on the CW app. If you're not interested in watching the individual shows, that's fine. You can go to their app and watch it for free. This is all just my personal opinion, and I may be biased, but like I said, this was done really well. Again, I've talked way too long here, but what about you? Did you watch it? Do you plan on watching it? Or if you did watch it, what do you think about it? Leave comments down below and let me know. Let me end it there. If you made it up to this point, you're pretty darn awesome. Check out my Patreon site when you get a chance. Check out my website, my social media sites, and everything else out there. Peace, love, namaste, and I'll see you guys later. Nice. Ray costume myself, which I kind of wish I'd worn this during the video, but I didn't think about it until afterwards. Still, I wanted to show it off. It's the comic book version and not the TV version. It's not the best, but I think it's pretty decent. 